Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about March 8th League of Legends uh, DFS slate. Um, it's a four game slate, unlike the past couple of days. We've only had two games, uh, you know, where our roster construction was kind of, you know, limited. Um, we had a lot of dupes um, in our lineups, um, but. You know, nonetheless, we've had very positive and um, winning uh, predictions uh, the past couple of days on our past couple of videos. Um, so it's been very exciting and positive for our viewers and our customers and our clients, you know, who have been with us this whole time. So, yeah, um, I think, you know, just a quick recap. For example, yesterday. Um, we had a slam dunk uh, prediction um, on both games, uh, both series last night. We correctly picked EDG and LNG, you know, as an upset um, in that TES versus LNG matchup. And as you saw, that LNG had a smash, uh, uh, you know, long stack viability kill upside <clears throat> that we projected in that TES versus LNG matchup. So yeah, everything we, you know, predicted yesterday uh went accordingly. Um I think we got like 2 to 1, 2 to 0 uh slightly incorrectly, but still nonetheless if you did play DFS based on our predictions um and our projections, you know, you would have had a profitable day. Um so yeah, let's continue that hot streak. Um, yeah, before we go any further on today's slate, um, if you will, please uh, hit the like button below. Um, if you uh, find our videos uh, helpful, informative, um, if you like our video, simply, please, please hit the like button below. It would uh, just mean great, 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 uh, a lot, uh, uh, very much to me and also the rest of the True, True DFS channel. Um, so, yeah, please, please hit the like button below. So yeah, um, March 8th, uh, four games late. Let's dive in. We have in China, OMG, a huge favorite at minus 460 versus anyone's legend at plus 305. We have Ultra Prime, an underdog at plus 153 versus T Team WE at uh, minus 205. And then in the LCK, we have pretty close matchups. Um, you know, two shitty teams <laughs> in Nongshim versus Kwangno Freaks, and then two pretty good teams in KT versus HLE, uh, with KT being the slight favorite. So yeah, let's dive into the Chinese matchups first, because they usually produce uh, higher kills. So first, OMG, as mentioned, is a big favorite in this matchup over anyone's legend. Um, <clears throat> first, the eye test. Um, and just, you know, based on what we've seen just, you know, uh, in the last couple of games um, in these teams. Yeah, I mean, they've been both streaky. Both teams have been streaky. OMG has been more of a consistent team, a more consistent team compared to anyone's legend. And you see, uh, where is it? Cream and Abel have been pretty good carries for that team. Uh, and then Aki actually has been pretty, uh, a little bit slightly better. Um, in my opinion, as a jungler, uh, kind of imposing his will around the map, um, unlike the old Aki himself, where he just did not do enough around the map. I think he has done a lot more lately, the last couple of months or last couple of weeks at least. Um, so I like Aki <clears throat> um, is uh, his uh, upward performance projection. And then Shanji, yeah, I mean Shanji is Shanji. He's 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 a very good top laner in my opinion. Um, he hasn't had a very good season compared to his previous season, um, but nonetheless, I think he <clears throat> will do just fine in this matchup. And then on the other side of this matchup is anyone's legend, where every single one of them has struggled in my opinion, including Betty. Right, like Betty. You know, he is known for having that carry role. Uh, and then, you know, the team puts in a lot of resources into his hands 
where he would carry, but with Xiao Hao at jungle and Betty, I had some higher hopes um, in anyone's legend coming into this split, but they, they've just been bad. I mean, I think they <clears throat> probably been one of the bo a bottom three, three bottom teams, uh, at least um, in the LPL. Uh, very disappointing team. Um, they have some pieces and players who can perform um, on certain given uh you know uh scenarios but i just don't see how anyone's legend could beat omg two games in a series like this um but you know anything can happen the lpl right so so yeah that's my eye test and then i want to show you the key metrics that i found um that i've done some research before i joined the recording here the call um, we have, first of all, total kill upside, right? I think that's important. Uh, the over under for total kill projection is set at 23 for the game and then combined kills per minute, um, at 0.72, um, both teams like to play at that pace. So that's, you know, very interesting. And then, yeah, I mean, the rest of the key metrics, you see all favorite OMG, uh, by, you know, a, I'd say a significant, um, amount. Um, it's not like anything marginal. Maybe lane control percentage is, you know, just minimal. But I think jungle control, gold spends percentage difference, and in the jungler difference individually, Aki versus Xiao Hao, you see that Aki leads in that regard. And also, as a team, the jungle control percentage favors OMG by 2.3%. Um, so just given all of that, and then based on the eye test that I, you know, kind of talked about earlier, with Aki, Cream, and Abel, I definitely picked them over Xiao Hao, Pins, and Betty, uh, given the recent performance and the metrics. I will have to go with OMG tonight. I just don't see anyone's legend pulling off this upset. I don't see any. I don't see any uh metric that actually gives me any hope or gives me any reason to believe that anyone's legend can win two games in a series like this against omg so i'm probably not gonna have any anyone's legend um that's so that's kind of my firm stance that i'll take on this matchup um because usually you have to have to have that unless you're making like unless you're maxing out entries and maxing out lineups in different combinations in the main GPP contest. I mean, you kind of have to have that, right? So that is my stance for today's slate. I think I'm just going to play OMG. All right, the next matchup is Ultra Prime versus Team WE. We have uh, Ultra Prime starting the regular five, the Ning and Ching combo, the jungle and mid synergy there. Um, and then Harry in the top lane with Doggo and Baolan in the bottom lane. And then they're going up against the Team WE's bottom lane, Hope and Iwandi. And then Shanks in the mid lane has been pretty solid. Um, and they're, he's going to go up against Ching, who has been pretty bad. And then we have Hung at jungle for Team WE. And then Biu Biu in the top lane, who's been pretty bad, in my opinion, as well. Um, but I think in this matchup, Team WE is pretty favorite yeah minus 205 i don't think they should be that favored uh by that much in my opinion and after looking at the metrics you see here i mean you see jungle control percentage uh ultra prime actually leads um team we by 1.3 percent then the lane control percentage is actually about even and then gold spend percentage difference, actually, Team WE has a quite significant advantage there at 5.1%. And, uh, and then it showed that Hung actually has a pretty decent advantage over Ning as a jungler themselves individually. Um, but yeah, so like just given all of that, and then I saw that there's a big gap in the mid lane. Um, uh, between Shanks and Ching, um, I think Team WE should win this still. Um, and I think they should be favored, but just not by this much. Um, it's quite juiced, I think. I think Ultra Prime is definitely a live dog tonight. 
Um, I do think it's more of a toss up than the odds indicate. So I'm going to go with Team WE winning two to one as my pre match prediction, but I'm definitely going to have some Ultra Prime in some of my lineups for GPP. And then this is an important uh, point um, in League of Legends DFS, in my opinion. If you have when you have a four game slate like this, you have to look at the kill projection, right? You look at which game you think will uh, produce the most kills and has the high, highest kill upside. And it is this matchup tonight uh, between Ultra Prime and Team WE. So that in itself naturally makes Ultra Prime the underdog in this matchup a good GPP play. So because you know, like if Team WE, yeah, team, uh, if uh, Ultra Prime wins, somehow pulls off an upset, they will most likely score well, right? Because because of the high kill projection. So that in itself, that high kill upside in the matchup um, gives Ultra Prime another reason um, as, you know, it's a good GPP play. But just the, based on the metrics, though, yeah, I mean, based on the metrics and the eye test, I do think it should be a closer closer matchup than the odds indicate. So I'm going to have both exposure to both teams tonight. Um, so, yeah, but ultimately, you know, if you ask me for my match prediction, yeah, Team WE should win. And then I think some people have commented, um, you know, that I should pick somebody that I think will do well. So, like, for Team WE, it should be Shanks, right? I think Shanks has a huge gap advantage there over Ching. So I'm going to go with Shanks a lot um, if, when I have the Team WE stack. And then if I'm having the Ultra Prime stack, yeah, I'm going to go with Doggo uh, in the bottom lane. And then Harry in the top lane, I think those ha those players have an advantage there. And those players will do well if Ultra Prime has a chance to win over Team WE tonight. All right, in the LCK, we have Nongshim uh, versus Kwangdong Freaks. Um, one thing to note is that Guangdong Freaks, first of all, they are the favorite by a slight margin. And then Guangdong Freaks has a little dilemma in the support position where Moham could start or June can start. I think last time it was Moham um, that started in that Sandbox series and he ended up, they ended up winning that series against Sandbox, which was surprising. Um, so I presume that he's going to start uh, start again, Moham. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if they go back to June. So who knows? So we'll see what that what happens there. So yeah, if you are playing them as like an optimal or whatever the case is, I would avoid the support position there. But if I if you ask me to guess, I'm going to guess that Moham's going to start again just after the last series. But yeah, Guangdong Freaks, in my opinion, should win as well. Um, I agree with the odds. Um, just looking at the the metrics you see here, Guangdong Freaks leads in every single category um, that I saw. They have a big uh, advantage in the top lane and the mid lane and the jungling position. Um, so you kind of see, you know, what players that I like in this matchup for Guangdong Freaks. So Dudu. Young J and Bulldog are my favorite people uh, from Guangdong, Guangdong Freaks. Um, yeah, KDF should win this one. Um, in terms of kill upside, um, total kill upside, you know, it's uh, the total kills over under is set at 21.5, and then combined kills per minute is set at 0.66, um, which is higher than the next LCK matchup that I'll just talk about. Um, so yeah, I think Guangdong Freaks makes an interesting, uh, safer, uh, you know, play on on the slate tonight. So I'll definitely have some Guangdong Freaks. Um, and as mentioned, just watch out for that support uh, position there for Guangdong Freaks. And then the last matchup on the slate is KT versus Hanhua Life Esports. Um, I think first of all, I think it's a toss up. Um, just looking at the metrics and looking at the roster uh, matchup, individual laning matchups. Yeah, I mean, both of the teams are really good. I mean, I think they are not elite. I think they are very good. I think they are both playoff teams in the LCK. KT has been very solid, um, whereas HLE has been up and down. 
but you know they have the roster to be able to compete and challenge the 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 good teams and the elite teams in the LCK. So yeah, I mean Hanwha Life definitely has what it takes to pull off this upset. Um, and then KT definitely has what it takes to uh, secure the series. Um, looking at the key metrics though, they're about the, they're about the same. Like you see, jungle control percentage favors Hanwha Life. Uh, by 1.7%, but then KT has a laning advantage matchup there. Uh, and then gold, gold spend percentage difference favors HLE, and then HLE slightly favored in the jungling matchup individually. And then you saw that, I see that uh, earned golds per minute advantage for KT, AD carry, and aiming, and then the top laner for Keen uh, there. And then, but at the same time, HLE has an advantage there. Uh, the similar advantage in the mid lane or, uh, for Zika over BDD by a lot. And then the jungling position that I just talked about. So, yeah, overall, I think it's a toss up. I think it's got to be a very close matchup. Um, but I'm going to go with HLE in an upset tonight. Um, but I do think this is the lowest kill upside game on the slate, on a four game slate. So, I do not recommend. Uh, picking any of these two teams, really, any for any for any cut cash or smaller contests. Um, so that is my two cents. But you know, if you want to differentiate yourself, yeah, I mean, feel free. But if you ask me for my pre match prediction, I'm gonna go with the upset here with the underdog in HLE tonight. Um, winning two to one. So yeah, I think you can definitely use one of these two teams, obviously, in the team slot. Um, just to kind of. Vary your lineup, um, make your lineup a little different compared to everybody else's. And on a four-game slate, that's easier to do that. So, yeah, feel free to do that. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you want to just talk league, uh, please let me know at DFS Chan. Again, if you like the video or see the video, um, if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know as well. But if you like the video, please, please hit the like button below. Give us a thumbs up. Um, it just means a lot to me and means a lot to True DFS who has sponsored this video. Otherwise, I hope you guys, uh, you know, win some money again. Uh, let's continue that hot streak that we're on. Um, yeah, good luck out there. And yeah, let's have, let's have some fun. Have a good one. Bye-bye.